it, it was built in 1914 uh, at the foundry. It came into service in 1915, just around about uh, uh, when we were landing at uh, Gallipoli. We're very lucky to have it. It's the only remaining C-16 Queensland class uh, in existence, as well as the last locomotive to come out of the Toowoomba foundry. And it was used uh, right throughout the state, uh, used uh, for freight and uh, uh, mixed uh, goods trains, as they call them. Initially, the locomotive was used uh, in pretty much every type of rail traffic, from passengers, mail, goods, uh, within the Queensland region. Uh, it was actually here opened the Drayton Deviation Line with the Lady McGregor and was notable for doing some of the uh, Queensland bank runs down to the border at Wallangara to uh, trade the uh, trains from there and then come back from here through to Brisbane. And it pretty much saw service until the, the dying days of steam within the late 1960s and finished its uh, rail service uh, within Cairns. However, spent a lot of time within Townsville doing heavy shunting work. The locomotive from them essentially uh, went into uh, a museum or storage and museum for, for that period of time and a few movements before coming up here in 2001. And it's just done over 1.1 million miles, which is a lot of track work for that locomotive. I was vice president of the Toowoomba Chamber of Commerce and a fellow called John Peel, who's a, who was a steam train buff, was a board member and came to the meeting and said, do you boys realise that uh, there is a steam locomotive sitting at Ipswich, owned by QR. It is the only uh, steam engine left in the world that was built here in Toowoomba at the Toowoomba foundry. So that's how it started. We then, uh, I said, well, it should be in Toowoomba and we should restore it and we should run a tourist railway. Eventually found its way up here to Toowoomba, initially overnight at Toowoomba station on the back of a truck and then out to a temporary site in Pittsworth because our facilities here at Drayton were not completed. We had no facilities whatsoever. Um, we stored it at uh, Lionel Moores at uh, Pittsworth for quite a considerable time until Lionel needed the space. The lease on this former railway site became available, so we now lease this site from Queensland Rail and we've put up uh, all the infrastructure that you see here today. It's all been done by volunteer labour. When we started to take it apart at uh, Lionel Moores at Pittsworth, uh, we could see that, uh, yes, there was a whole lot more work involved in, uh, in restoring the steam engine than, uh, than we first anticipated. Well, when we looked at it, it looked to the layman, as we were then, a, a very nice piece of machinery. It looked to be in very good order. So we thought, well, this will probably be not all that difficult to bring it all together, but it has in fact been uh, a major uh, undertaking. I don't think any of us realised the amount of work and the cost uh, that would be involved in restoring uh, something like a, a very old 1914 built uh, steam engine and of course then you need carriages to go with it. It's a major undertaking for any group but particularly uh, for a uh, non-for-profit group such as our own. We've been working away now for uh, some uh, 14 years to get to this stage. We spent a lot of time out here at our facilities in Drayton developing this site to what it is today uh, until now when we can actually start looking at completely overhauling the locomotive now that we have a great shed, uh, some fantastic machinery and, and, and a good setup within here to, to complete that. Well, it's done on faith, basically, with a non-for-profit group like ours, a volunteer group, it's done on faith. I do wonder how we're going to do it often, um, but we just persevere, and as I say, we do what we can, when we can, and uh, hopefully, given good health, uh, we live to see the day we're running a train out of here.